welcome back welcome to this awareness course where we have 30 days schedule and on daily basis we are covering one topic i'm sure it is easy to spare 15 20 minutes on daily basis so that we can at least go through few things and we can learn few new things also right so we'll begin with safety talk we'll go through three subtopics today's subtopics after these uh, explanations then we'll go through the quiz we will have 20 mcq questions along with correct answers we'll have explanations also so don't forget to share with your friends don't forget to subscribe also look into the description box where a lot of links have been given you can go through the links you can navigate through the content uh, published on this youtube channel and on epc land right a lot of videos courses free and paid both a lot of quizzes are there right articles are there you can go through that if you like the content don't forget to share with your friends so let's begin let's welcome our friend mr peter who will explain the today's topic so first begin with the safety talk so let's start hello everyone today's safety talk is about heat stress and hydration awareness to help you stay safe in hot weather know the signs Learn to recognize the signs of heat stress, like dizziness, fatigue, and excessive sweating. If you experience these symptoms, take immediate action. Take breaks. To avoid overheating, take regular breaks in shaded or cool areas. Give your body time to rest and recover from the heat. Stay hydrated. Drink water frequently throughout the day to stay hydrated. Dehydration can be dangerous, so keep a handy. Avoid caffeine and alcohol. Caffeine and alcohol can contribute to dehydration, so it's best to avoid them, especially when working in the heat. Dress for comfort. Wear light and breathable clothing to stay comfortable in hot environments. Dressing appropriately can make a big difference. Watch out for others. Look out for your colleagues, too. If you notice anyone showing signs of heat-related illness, encourage them to take a break and seek help if needed. Remember, heat stress can be serious, but with awareness and proper precautions, we can stay safe and healthy during hot weather. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our ASME B31.330 Day Beginner Course. In today's session, Day 13, we will delve into the topic of preparing for pressure testing. Pressure testing is a crucial step to ensure the reliability and safety of piping systems. It helps us identify possible problems before actual operation begins. Let's explore the key aspects of preparing for pressure testing. Purpose The primary goal of pressure testing is to validate the integrity and strength of the piping system. Test medium During pressure testing, we use water, air, or suitable fluids as the test medium. Pressure levels. The testing is conducted at the design pressure of the system or even higher. Procedure. The pressure is gradually increased in the system while closely monitoring for any leaks or deformations. Duration. The pressure is maintained for a specified period to observe the system's behavior under stress. Inspection. After the pressure test, a comprehensive inspection is performed on joints, connections, and various components. Documentation, accurate and detailed records of the testing process and its, out and its outcomes are essential. Importance, pressure testing is of paramount importance as it helps us identify potential issues that may arise during actual operation. In the next session, we will discuss hydrostatic and pneumatic testing procedures. This will further enhance our understanding of testing methods. Stay tuned as we continue our journey through the fundamentals of piping engineering. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our ASME B31.330 Day Beginner Course. In today's session, day 13, we will delve into the important topic of hydrostatic and pneumatic testing procedures. These testing methods play a crucial role in ensuring the integrity and reliability of piping systems before they go into actual operation. 
let's explore the key aspects of these testing procedures. Hydrostatic testing. Hydrostatic testing involves filling the pipe or component with water and gradually increasing the pressure to the desired level. This method helps us evaluate how well the system can handle liquids under pressure. Pneumatic testing. In pneumatic testing, we use air or gas to pressurize the system. It's important to follow safety measures to protect personnel and equipment during this process. Safety measures. Safety should always be a top priority during testing. Make sure to follow established safety protocols to prevent accidents and ensure a secure testing environment. Pressure increment, whether using water or air, the pressure should be incrementally increased, allowing us to observe how the system reacts to different stress levels. Leakage detection, thoroughly inspect the system for any signs of leakage. Even small leaks can indicate potential weaknesses that need to be addressed. Duration, the pressure is held for a specified duration, giving us enough time to monitor the system's stability under stress. Acceptance, acceptance criteria, the test results are compared to predefined acceptance criteria or standards to determine whether the system meets the required performance levels. Documentation, detailed records of the testing process, including pressure levels, duration, and any observations, should be meticulously documented for future reference. In our next session, we will continue our exploration by discussing test duration and acceptance criteria. Stay tuned as we delve further into the world of piping engineering principles and practices. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the ASME B31.330 Day Beginner Course. In today's session, we're diving into Day 13, where we'll discuss test duration and acceptance criteria. These are critical aspects of ensuring the reliability and safety of our piping systems before they're put into actual operation. Let's explore the key points related to test duration and acceptance criteria. Optimal testing time, it's essential to determine the right duration for the testing process. This helps us simulate real-world conditions and understand how the system forms over time. Stress duration, holding the pressure for an adequate period allows us to evaluate how the system responds under stress. This is crucial for identifying any potential weaknesses or vulnerabilities. Visual inspection, throughout the testing, it's important to visual visually inspect the system for any signs of leaks, deformations, or irregularities. Visual observations provide valuable insights into the system's behavior. Record keeping, detailed and accurate documentation of pressure levels, testing duration, and any observations is a must. These records serve as a reference for future evaluations. Acceptance criteria Test results should be compared against predefined acceptance criteria or industry standards. This helps us determine whether the system meets the required performance levels. Measures Safety remains paramount during testing. Adhering to safety protocols and guidelines is crucial to prevent any accidents or incidents during the testing process. Retesting if the acceptance criteria aren't met, it may be necessary to conduct additional tests or address specific issues before considering the system ready for operation. Reporting, after the testing is complete, it's important to summarize the results, decisions, and any actions taken. Clear reporting ensures that all stakeholders are informed. In our next session, we'll delve into flange assembly requirements for leak testing. So, stay tuned as we continue our journey through the fundamentals of piping engineering practices.
by this we are done with today's topic we had safety talk we had a discussion on three subtopics quiz correct answers and their explanations so we are having 30 days schedule with us we are covering one topic a day so i'm sure 15 20 minutes we can spare on daily basis so that we can go through the content don't forget to share with your friends so that everybody gets to know at least few uh, new things don't forget to subscribe so that you get the latest updates we are going to launch many more awareness courses on this channel so it is if you are sub subscribing to this channel you will get the regular updates also don't forget to look into the description box where a lot of new links are given you can navigate through available courses free and paid both a lot of videos playlist quizzes which are published on uh, epc land so go through these links if you find something useful you can share with your friends also so by this we are going to cover rest of the topics also we'll tomorrow also we'll start with safety talk then we'll uh, have an explanation to these three subtopics then we'll have quiz along with the correct answers we'll have explanations so stay tuned keep learning thank you for watching